time for the faith walk of the day. Um, I'm sure many of you have uh, heard my trainer, Don Strozier, on the show, or maybe you've seen some of the get up and move clips and all of those clips are challenging. There's never a time when she asks me to do something hard and I don't go, <sighs> because it's not easy. But what I do know for sure is that the work that I do with my trainer will build muscle in my body. It will burn fat. Uh, the muscle weighs more than fat, so I will get heavier and stronger while at the same time becoming leaner. I will burn off the things that are unnecessary in my body that come from junk food or come from uh, things that don't really belong in my body. So in order to do that, I must do some hard work. I must lift some weights. I must... Uh, challenge my body to push and press it to the limit. Sometimes it drains you. If you work out real, real hard, some of you have even uh, vomited before just because it was just that strenuous on your body. But I'm telling you, every time you put in that kind of work, you get the result that you need. Here's, here's the spiritual part of that. There is no way I can get to that place of strength without pushing and stretching myself. There's no way I can get to this muscular body I'm trying to get in, which I'm not in yet, without enduring some type of pain, push, and pressure. So you may be dealing with some pain, push, and pressure, something that is overwhelming and challenging. But let me tell you what the word says. After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Listen, do not throw in the tile. Don't give up during the pressure. Don't walk away because there's no way you can become the best version of yourself without that pressure. There are so many people, amazing people in the faith who I've seen. And I've seen them operate in the anointing and power. And I know their story. I know what they've been through. I know the challenges that they faced. And the Holy Spirit will just speak to me and say, there's no way they be can become this without that. There's no way you can get there without having first gone there. There's no way you can get to this new place without having gone through something. So you are maybe going through something and you feel overwhelmed, but I'm telling you, the trying of your faith worketh patience. I'm telling you, it will build you. It will make you better. So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. And I know you've heard it before. Some of you are like, oh, you're speaking Christianese and I heard it and I'm sick of it. I don't want to hear it no more. Don't tell me everything will be all right. But I'm telling you everything will be all right. I'm sick of hearing it. And I'm telling you again, God will bring you through. Do not start falling into sin and sinful thinking and sinful actions and making yourself comfortable in this situation. Stay just as uncomfortable as you are. And ask God for peace in the process. Ask him for patience. Ask him for strength to endure. Lord God, give us all strength to endure. So we walk through and we gain the victory. We gain the strength. We gain the wisdom. We gain the anointing. We gain the power. We gain the authority. We gain the favor. We gain the grace of God. Just because we walked through and we stayed in faith. All right. That is my faith walk for the day, ladies and gentlemen. That was First Peter 5 and 10.